Welcome back to the channel. You might be wondering, who the hell is this? Why is he here? Who is this man that looks vaguely similar to you, just with worse hair? I just washed my hair. It's kind of flat. Don't no, no, touch no, no. me. I don't like it. Yes, because I just washed it. Who has a longer before we get into the video, we do this thing on the channel called Zaggy of the Month, where every single month we choose someone to be Zaggy of the Month. And that means you're subscribed, you're liking the videos, you're commenting on, and you're sharing them with your friends. I will have you know that actually we are announcing April's Zaggy of the Month in this video, so you should be a little bit more excited. Here's the thing, you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video. You know how it is, we can't give it away. I don't make the rules, I just obey them. Do you obey the rules? Yeah. Hi, I'm the Duncan. So if you're new to the channel, this is my brother. Hello. Casper, what are we doing today? Do you want to say it or should I say it? I'm honestly not really sure what we're doing today. I'm not paying much attention. Uh, we're doing say it or shot it. So basically, Hannah, she's prepared a bunch of embarrassing questions. So we either have to answer them or take a shot. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? The weirdest thing would probably be octopus balls. Akoyaki, commonly known in English as Japanese octopus balls, is a quintessential Japanese street food. Essentially, they're round balls of fluffy dough that are smothered with a savory takoyaki sauce and have a piece of octopus meat at the center. I don't know, you know I'm a picky eater. If you don't have an answer, you're gonna have to take a shot. Down Jeez. the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I hate that place. <laughs> Lemon. Dear diary, it has occurred to me today that my dearest human has never sniffed my backside. I must bond with him in different ways. Give us the details of your first kiss. Okay, off you go. Hi. Oh, you're gonna take a I like shot. questions. <laughs> it was ox. Uh, I'm taking a shot so I don't oh. talk about it. Mm. Don't spill. <laughs> what is the secret that you've kept from your parents? I vape. I've hid, I, I've kept it a secret for a So you're telling me that you have no other secrets? I smoke cigarettes from time to time. When I'm at university and someone offers me a cigarette, I'll smoke it. I fired it. Is that a secret you kept from your friends? Well, they don't know it. Yeah, and he's not sure. gonna tell them about it. Yeah, sure. Sure, here we go. I don't have my parents that I scratch carnately because they have nothing to do with it and I'm an adult and they don't need to know. I mean, it's a stupid question to ask to cancer boys that have never broken a polished mom's rules. Yeah. She's a very scary lady. Have you ever peed in the shower? Of yes. course! Uh, like, Who hasn't? almost every time I'm in the shower. Yeah! <laughs> I just know, Hannah, that when you're stepping in the shower, you're stepping in my pee. Have you ever walked in on your parents doing this? I've heard them do it. I've not walked into them. I've not walked in on them. I didn't catch them. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But basically, since we're a Polish immigrant family that came to Ireland, we once upon a time used to live in one room. I woke up, heard my parents having sex, and honestly wished to God that I was dead, and somehow managed to fall back asleep while kind of holding my ears. So, yeah, mm -hmm. trauma. One day I will pay for both of our therapies. What physical feature do you get complimented on the most? So, my abs. Mm -hmm. I was told they're better than yours. <laughs> wow, <laughs> pop off. If you're gonna flex your abs on us, we're gonna need to see them. We need the full reveal. If yeah. you're gonna flex it on us. Yeah. I have bigger arms than him though. That's he true. does, yeah. Show me your arms. There we fucking you go. Bigger. Twice his size. What's your body count? Let me see if I want. Let me do the math in my head and then figure out if I want to reveal it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna drink. Oh, can you not do the math? So shy can't survive. Shy. Yeah, no. How college kids' binge drinking <laughs> antics have become a viral business. Not officially depressed because I haven't afforded therapy to actually be diagnosed, but. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? No, I don't believe in ghosts. I'm not really sure. I am an atheist 100%. Well, no, same. I'm not religious. The Bible is basically just fan fiction. I'm not about to believe a bunch of fan no. fiction that someone wrote ages ago. Yeah. I trust science that has evidence to back shit up. I've had some weird experiences. But I'm not saying that it exists or doesn't exist. I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong. I'd still be fucking freaked out going into you know, an abandoned mental asylum. Yeah. That's just scary for anyone. I don't think 
you know, I don't believe in ghosts, but you know, I don't know if there's a fucking homeless man with a shank ready to stab me in there. You know the Manson murders? Yeah. Charles Manson, yeah. He, he had like a cold, but in the Museum of Death, they had like a big rug. And it like, it's yeah, stunk. Like, there had been murders on the right. rug. Why is it doing that? Especially when we're talking about murders. <laughs> That's Come back on. not Come on, Alex, so what's your problem? It's not ghosts. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up and a comment if you want me to take Casper to a heavily paranormal place and explore it. I'm, I'm down. What's the most drunk you've ever been? I, I went to a friend's house. I had a liter of vodka. We drank like barely any of it. it. The bottle of vodka sat in my bag for like a few days and I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna finish it. I finished all of it by myself. And I think, I think I threw up that thing. I can't remember. I do come from a Polish family, so um, heavy drinkers. So the time I have gone the most drunk has, has indeed been with my father. Ah, oh. so one time I came to visit and mom has made Skittles vodka, which was basically just vodka with different colors. It really wasn't any different in taste. Like it is basically just nail polish remover in a bottle. Then his friends came over. Oh, <laughs> shit. And it was Robert and one of his other friends. Of course. I got roped in to fit in with the men and it was shots for me that my father is about twice my size and also has about 30 plus years drinking on me. Please bear in mind that the entire night up until 5am I kept up with those men and that means we got through two bottles of absolute vodka and then like a bottle of Skittles vodka. What happened next will not surprise you. I completely blacked out and then the next thing I know is that I woke up shirtless next to my father in bed. I think I had the worst experience. But maybe I can give you the worst experience. Let's see. Maybe one time. I don't think we have enough lemon gin for that. I don't like lemon gin, but wanted to hurt your sibling. Have you ever wanted oh, to hurt yeah. your sibling? Oh yeah. Like really. Which like, one? Probably hurt them. That fucking little shit is sleeping in the <laughs> Fucking dickhead. Have you ever wanted to hurt me? Probably when I was younger. You weren't always the best of a fucking brother, you know? Yes, go off, queen. I've definitely wanted to slap Casper about many times. Oh, back when Casper used to piss me off a lot, maybe I would have shoved him a little harder. Yeah. Now I don't care that much. All right, who was oh. the last person that you sent a sex? I have not sent any news. Ever. Ever. <gasps> Smart. Wow. So there's no one out there in the world that has had Casper's nudes. Just I'm not gonna say, of course not. That is pretty embarrassing for you, yeah. What do you mean embarrassing for me? Because you actually said nudes to people. They're pretty okay. He's sleeping. I must show you this. What is he doing? Are you comfortable, sir? Oh, you're so cute, but so annoying. Oh, he's falling asleep in my hand. Not even a butt pick? No. What about an ab pig? An ab pig? That's, That's not, not really a sex. But have you? To my friends as a fucking joke. Oh god. Someone was annoying me. I'm just like, if you don't stop fucking spamming, I'm gonna send a pig with my nipple. I don't like shots. That's the most embarrassing time you ever got a bonus. Hmm. <laughs> Well, here's the problem. I feel like there's times where you just get it that like it's not in your control, right? It's like fine. I've got I didn't several need. times in school. <laughs> so y'all taking shots while you're leaving it like that, sure? Well, because we can't think of anything, I guess so. Okay, we need to finish this shot. Ah, Bonus question shots. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and patiently wait for Daniel to finally overcome his deep fear of taking this shot. I'm so happy that I don't have to edit these videos. Have you ever received a nude from someone but you weren't interested in it? No! Really? Yeah. Um, Amazingly, you know, it's not as common for a woman to send an unsolicited yeah, nude than that's a right. man. Yeah. As a bisexual man, I can say that yes, absolutely. A man for man. some reason, men really think it's a good opener. Really yeah. Let that be a PSA to all of you. Nobody wants it's to see your nasty dick pic. Stupid idea. I hope you enjoyed um um us sharing some spicy things about us. I guess. Um, I'm kind of drunk. This one's I get the month goes to the one and only. Give me a drum roll, please. 
Dodo. Dodo is one of my mods on Discord and he also made a Minecraft server happen for me. Dodo, congrats on being Zagibs of the Month. That is honestly, thank you so much for being here and doing everything that you've done for me. You are so sweet, you're amazing. And I will never say that again because you bully me so much. Then guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you want Casper back on the channel because we can bring him back. And um, yeah, have a good day, have a good life. I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. So that's right, goodbye.